Welcome back to Dragon Souls 3. Uh, when we last left off, I had another little dump soul episode. And that was fun. Let's see if Hawkwood says something new different. Gaining admission to Eve of I. Come on, Hawkwood. You sit. I oh. pity the sorry souls. Is oh, that whoops. really Lordship's last reward? And I skip through his dialogue. <laughs> Dang it! Ah, I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? <laughs> The Hawkwood has a point. It's a pretty raw deal being a soul of sing a Cinder. Uh, I mean, uh, Lord of Cinder. Pretty rough. It's not like you get a lot for it. Ow. Uh, do I have anything else? Oh, hey, by the way. That's a neat hat. We should buy that hat. I like that hat. Oh, that cost all our souls. 10,000. It is a cool hat though. Belong to twin gurus, known as crystal sages. Oh yeah, we can now also buy the Undead Legion armor. Well. Ashen one. Uh, excuse me for a second whilst I go grab some more souls. Because I have the feeling I'll need a bunch. In fact, before this recording started, I quickly got a bunch because I figured we'll need some. And I was like, oh, oh, cool hat. I'll get the cool hat. Because, I mean... It is a pretty neat hat. Oh, it comes with the, it comes with the mask. Not a big fan of the mask. But the hat, though... The hat, though... Right, we're back. Now we have a bunch of souls. Why do, why do I want to have a bunch of souls on me when I'm not going to have enough for a level up? It's because I want to buy some new pyromancies. Ah, there you are, unkindled one. I am pleased to have a pupil as dedicated as you. <laughs> we have a pyromancy tome. The Karthus pyromancy tome. Well, well. I've never seen anything like this. This inscription. This tome is from the catacombs. Fascinating. On this day, the teacher learns alongside the pupil. <laughs> right. Excuse me about that. I only got a single take on Dark Souls, so I... Can't really edit that out. Uh, let's see. Ha! Ah, fresh pyromancies. Yes. Carthus Beacon. Increases with consecutive attacks. The damage. Acid Surge. Carthus Flame Arc. Oh, wow. I need a lot more to buy all of these. But this is the big one. This is the one I really wanted to have. Reinforce right weapon with flame. Not gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? I did have a bone shard, right? Ah, and I kind of want the estus, the the mist. I mean, bone shard, burn that. A tune spell. Oh yeah. 
And then now... A fiery whip on command. Now that... That is what I really wanted to, to have whips and pyromancies for. This... This would be one of the more defining aspects of the build. At least I'm hoping for it, at least. Yeah. Gonna be annoying for enemies that are resistant to fire, but I have a solution for that too. And that solution is in this one. The Launder Braille Divine Tome. However, we can't use that one yet, as I've explained, because Arena will read it and will teach us those but it will mm, it will kind of mess with her quest line or her particular story so i'm gonna save that for a different person who can take that tome in the meantime though we should continue should continue heading for the catacombs. Continue exploring those. So uh, I'll see you there. Right then. Time to continue. Hello Indiana Jones Ball. I'm not going to edit even more music in there. I'm gonna leave you as is for now. That was fun for one episode, but it's a pain in the ass to constantly edit in. Right. Ah! Little shit. Uh, oh shit, yeah, there there we go. Hello. Ah. Oh, crap, more rats! Okay. Honestly. Come on, come over here. I was hoping to lure him in there. Right, well, we'll deal with this side first then. I do think that, oh, long term, that ball ought to break. Yeah, be wary of up. Yeah, I can see them. Yeah, I can see them. Can you see them too? Right, that. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... Switch those for those. There we go. We do lose the flame arc every single time that we switch weapons. It doesn't look like the fire arrows are actually dealing that much damage, so I'll save them for now. Still don't know how to actually elegantly su switch arrows. What button? What button is switching arrows? 
I genuinely don't know. Oh well. Will you guys stop making such a racket? What I do know is that I want to coax all these slimes off the ceiling. Because these things are annoying. Right, uh, switched from rapier to my little fiery sword. Oh! Can't believe I missed that one. Gotta be careful because ah, we've got some nasty friends over there that I really do not want to mess with. Not yet, anyway. Not until I've cleaned up this stuff. So hard to see. all of the slimes and there's a lot of them ah I see another one right there okay that now however we're going to attract the attention of this guy There we go. Man, bow and arrow is just really useful for attracting the attention. Hitting you first, man. Ah, oh, I see another slime. There's a lot of these assholes. Oh, and I see another one just around the corner there. One more skelly ball. It's a little bit better lit here. And there's another slime on the ceiling. there. The Carthus Blood Ring. Which is also again a pretty good ring. Hmm. Oh well. Annoying corridor this. I really start to resent the stupid skelly ball rolling around in the background.
just because it's such a noisy piece of junk. Well, I'm gonna use this sword for a little bit, because I want something a little bit faster when dealing with this Karthus Shotel Assassin. Uh, yes, got you! Haha! -ha! I ambush you! Now then, uh, was it this one? Yes! Yes, it was. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Oh, no, that's the wrong one! Got you. Bastard. Oh, right. Except I totally didn't! Okay, now I got you for realsies, though. Another Shotel wielding assassin over there. Uh, you guys are bad at dodging pyromancies. Are you gonna get back up? No? Okay, good. So you're a piece of shit. Alright, okay. See another one of the weird little innocent skelly bobs. There we go. Fire seems to work really well on these guys. Arthur's rule. Be wary of contraption. Oh, yeah. Honestly, why do people put it immediately next to the button instead of say you know though this does make me curious <laughs> that's actually kind of funny can actually kill those guys all the way from over there oh well I still find you strange. Mysterious skeleton. Also, this thing. Pretty hilarious. Spin, spin, spin. Thank you. Oh, he's running away again. Or not? You're a real mystery, you know that? Oh well, I'll leave him be. Uh, ooh, yeah. There is one other thing we can do here. Well. Okay. Gotta get ready for this. Yeah. Oh! Wow! That was a big hit. Oh! Ooh! Okay, run, 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 run.
Come on! Get him! Night Slayer's Ring and the Mike Thanks. And we got extra Estus back from that. Oh, great. We can use that to reach the next bonfire. Ah. Another piece of rapidly rotating bone. Oh, yeah. That's a new one. Oh well. Oh, hello. Suspended bridge is wearing thin. Yes, yes it is. We could go to the bridge, but there's a side passage here. Uh, let's see, here, here. There's a side, yeah, here's the side passage. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. We meet again. Have you seen Horace anywhere? No. Oh, yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace. Where have you run off to? Oh, Horace. Where have you run off to? Have you abandoned me? No. What a horrible thought. Oh, have you? Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can say. Huh, what is interesting is there's a pit down there with items and... That looks like a knight. In fact, it kind of looks like Horus. Right? Need to step a little closer. Ah, honestly. Yeah, that looks like Horus. Andre, I found Horus. Oh. <laughs> ah, apparently this does not count as finding Horus. Regardless, whilst it would make for a good video, wouldn't it, if I showed you the secret of the suspension bridge. Oh, some of these... Uh, yeah, just a little... Whoop, like that. And yeah, we could continue to the next chamber, or we could climb down and see what's down here. D. 
demon ahead. Yeah, that looks like a demon indeed. We are in trouble. Because demons are not exactly our forte. I did not actually bring anything to fight a demon with. Oh, that's not true. I could, of course, bring the battle axe. And the boulder heave might work. Oh, he's running after us. Also, this might help. Hey. You two fight it out. Have fun. We did. We did, however, get the soul of a demon. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can use that mimic. You can use that mimic to kill the demon for you. <laughs> uh, that's an old trick. Anyway, we can switch back, I guess, to our fiery broadsword. Uh, shut up, boulder. Why do you have to be so noisy? Oh, you did flatten some rats for us, so thanks for that. Now we do have... Where's our Shotel assassin skeleton friend? He's just killing me with just the kukris. Ah, nope! Come on. Come on! Will you two please? Cool it. Okay. Right. Oh! Dang it! Oh! Nope! Well, there goes 20,000 souls. Was a little bit too far. Ah well, 20,000 souls I can compensate off camera really easily. It wasn't turning into a good run anyway. Man, I, ha I, I did get that one good at kicking him off the ledge. It's just a pity that my own animation scared me off the ledge as well. Oh. Okay, are we both gonna be incompetent? There we go, gotcha. Get out of here because I'm getting tired of the noise of that boulder. There's only so much Indiana Jones music you can take. Alright, right. We'll not try backstabbing him. We'll just straight up chuck fireballs at him and then. There we go. Like that. 
That takes care of that. Now, is the bridge out? No, the bridge is not out. The bridge does respawn. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. But I really, before I do that, want to show you what's down here a little bit. A little bit more, at least. Come on, give me the, give me the ladder. There we go. Descend down into the deeper, darker reaches of the catacombs. Because this is an interesting thing about these catacombs. So these are the catacombs of Carthus. And Carthus, as you might tell from the dress and weaponry of the warriors, Carthus is a desert kingdom. So you're wondering, what the heck is a desert kingdom uh, doing here? Like, as far as we know, above us is the swamp, right? Hello, Mr. Mimic. Give us, give us loot. Black blade. That could be neat. Anyway, um, I remember all the way back in one of the earlier episodes when it's talked about how the lands of the Lords of Cinder are converged at Lothric. But converging is rather literal. Uh, time and space in the Dark Souls universe appears to be sort of moving around. The literal geography of the land is changing slowly over time where just the... and I do mean significantly faster than ours does. Hello! Look at you guys. Really going to ah, chasing the Argonauts vibe indeed. Man, I am dying a lot this uh, this episode compared to usual. Just getting swarmed by skeletons there. Should probably just bring the Carthus flame arc. Getting jumped by rats is annoying. Alright. This way. Oh, shit! Huh. That's interesting. He appears to be stuck. I can't even target him properly. want to get to the next bonfire whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. this and 
that's the boss door. It is important that we do that boss sooner rather than later. We need to kill that boss to get our... Um, to get our other divine instructor. Now, we have two ways of dealing with this situation. We can either do it slow and methodical. can make a mad dash. Personally, I prefer the slow and methodical approach. Kill you all twice. Another one. Oh, and now there's okay, there's too many of them. Okay, you're going to reanimate once more. That one's tripping out a bit. It's okay, we got you. Now these things... Uh -huh. Where are we at? I know this... I know there's a, another three or so illusions somewhere down here. this room. Anyway, as I was saying, so land is converging and um, we're in the catacombs of Carthus. Old Sages Blindfold, Witch's Ring. Ooh, the Witch's Ring, I think, is pyromancies, right? Greatly boosts pyromancies. The Witch of Isolith and her daughter, scorched the, by the Flame of Chaos, taught humans the art of pyromancy and offered them this ring. Greatly boost pyromancies. Every pyromancer is familiar with the parable that tells of the witches espousing the need for fear of the flame, teaching the art of pyromancy to men in hopes that they might learn to control it. Yes, because the Witch of Isolith is the mother of all demons, and her daughters are... most of her daughters have turned into demons. And most, both the Witch of Isolith herself and, I believe, all her daughters at this point are dead. Most of them killed during the time of Dark Souls 1. There's at least three that you kill as a boss fight. One individually, and then two more. Oh! 
Okay. Okay. There appears to be a giant ballista. Also in the distance there is a fog gate. Uh, this place is pretty interesting. How did this work again? it still hit me um. oh! where's the bow Here. Yes. Oh. No. Quickly. Oh. Okay. Welcome to the demon ruins. The architecture is the exact same, like the... Uh-oh. Uh, boop! <laughs> Shit, yeah. Another another bonfire here. Just do not exactly remember where. Ah! There you go. Now we're not gonna go that far deeper into the demon ruins, but I did want to already have this bonfire. And wasn't there a secret passage here? Yeah, yeah, that was. Oh. And lava slimes. Because ordinary slimes are vulnerable to being hit with fire. So what do we want? Slimes that are immune to it. How wonderful. And passages that pretty much instantly result in you getting set on fire. This is a fun place. Fun, fun, fun. But enough of that for now. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.